What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and I have with me today. Introduce yourself. I am Tristan. Um, you guys may or may not have known me. Uh, I also make videos on YouTube. Yeah, shout out to Inspire TCG for letting me do this deck profile. Uh, should we start? Yeah, of course. Um, where did you play at today, and what did you do? Uh, I placed uh, top twelve at the Richmond, Virginia regionals last Sunday, uh, and I was playing dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. How many rounds was it? Uh, nine rounds. My only loss was to Mathmech and Pirelli. I had three cash matchups. I won all of them. Easiest matchup of my day, actually. Hey, that's what's up. All right, let's get into the profile then. All right, so main deck, uh, super simple. Fairly standard, actually. Um, just three Fossil Dig, three OV, one Misk. Uh, you need these. These are never going to change unless Misk like, gets semi-limited or unlimited. Then it will change. Which we pray that happens. Uh, and then two of this guy. Um, I don't like seeing this in my opening hand, but it is a starter, technically. And then just three babies and two petites. Uh, oh. Most oh. people only run one petite, right? Do you run one? I run one. I don't play the true king package. Yeah, yeah, but I do, so it's pretty good there. Also, opening Misk plus any of these or Arcosaur plus any of these is also full combo. So it's just increasing your chances of getting full combo, right? Yeah, yeah you're just hoping they ash you on the Misk because you have the Arcosaur in hand to go full combo. Mm hmm. And then three Lost World. Uh, that's it for the tiny dinosaurs um, package. Uh, this, literally all of these cards except for this. All of these cards get you to other cards. Like, this gets you to this, and this gets you to this, which can destroy this, and then it's, it's just everything gets anything. Which is always nice. Uh, super standard. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Everybody who runs dinos runs mostly the same ratio. And then for the big dinos, I run the two pill, of course, because you need it to search off of the level one. And then I just run one of each of these. Ooh. And then for the next engine, I'm yes. running only two. I know this got unlimited to three. I think two right? is perfect. I didn't want to. I when I when it first came off the list, I played it at three. It was too bricky, so I could. Yeah, it was too, as too as bricky. Well. But it does come up in the grind game if they don't destroy this, right? You do need another copy to search because you want to pop a baby in your hand, right? Or like what you can do is on your turn or on their turn. Say they broke their board, the monster that you summon off of popping a baby with UTT on their turn could be like an OV and then you search your baby and then if this is still on the field you can pop it and then just combo next turn. And then I'm running the scraps. Uh, a lot of people don't like this because it's Ricky. Yeah, that's why I but, switched to the build I did. But I like this because you need it to FDK. Uh, I am playing the FDK, which is, uh, you probably know by now. If Trey put it on the title, you would know. Um, and then for the next ones, of course, the god cards. Uh, one for one, set rotation, terraforming, and called by. Uh, this was insane. This actually was insane. Um, I outed, like, so many... What's it called? Raisoth? Raisos? The planet. Whatever the planet is called for Cash Tira. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is like one of the MVPs. I also added like a battle ocean from Marincess. It's so good. It's and then I'm running this one life extreme. Um this card is the only really hard brick in the deck. Um you can draw it and still full combo, but you just never want it in your hand. Hmm. And then for going second cards, I'm running the two Fenrir, and then I'm running the Walmart variety pack of hand traps. <laughs> Just one of each. Just one of each. Uh, it's mostly for the crossout designator in my side deck. If I know for sure that I'm going first, I'm going to side those in super quick. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, just one of each. That's that's all I really needed. Um, I never relied on hand traps to stop people from making boards. But if I see them, I see them. Right? I can use them. Hmm. But... Going second, I just rely on engine to to win. Like Fenrir, Pankatops, Kaiju, 
UCT. Everything, like, the whole deck is already built for going second. Like, all their effects are uh, better going second, I guess. Because Pankratops, if they control a monster and you don't... Or if they control more monsters, then you can special this. Uh, so on and so forth. So, yeah, I... I that that that's literally all um i do going second is just rely on engine to win all right so for the extra deck i don't think this is sorted but let's go with links first i played the two linker evo uh one because it's pretty important uh i think this is one of the more important link monsters in the deck uh to still be able to make a UCT out of nowhere if they negate everything. Because UCT is your win con going second, right? And if you're not able to make a Link Karibo, you can't use the pill. You can't use the pill uh, just to OTK them going second. And if they banish, like, one, you're screwed. And if they... If you run two, then they can't banish both. So that's why two Link Karibos. Also, it's needed for the fdk i'm running the one scrap wyvern uh this card if you're not running the strap package you don't run it but i do so i run it and then i'm running uh two really weird link twos um geonator transverser and then nightmare Sur and then this card i never summoned the whole weekend terrible <laughs> do you run this i ran it in the scrap i ran it in the scrap yeah, I don't like this. This can be any other card. I... I personally think cutting it is fine because we're going into such a kaiju format and it's just going to yeah, get kaiju every time. It, it'll get kaiju all the time. Um, also, Super Heavy Samurai or in Sayak, right? A lot of people are going to be maining Dark Rulers and Kaijus or whatnot. Lava Golems, whatever. Um, this deck that I play does not lose to any going second cards. Any hard going second cards, like Lightning Storm, Dark Ruler, I, it doesn't lose to it. Uh, mostly because I FTK and yeah, you don't <laughs> lose to Droplet or whatever going second or going first if you don't give them a turn. Uh, access code, this came up a lot. Uh, a lot of people were like anti spelling me. And I was just able to access code, pop the anti-spell, just go for the pill, and then OTK that way. Yeah, I got anti-spelled uh, as well. That stuff does not feel well. Yeah. Um, and then... Next, let's do XC's. Uh, Dagaris. Amazing. I had a game where I just doubled UCT's attack. They had, like, four monsters on the board. But I impermed their one Omni Negate, and then the other three, I was like... I gave them a token with Lost World and they couldn't target with the other three. So I just doubled the UCT attack and then just gamed them. Because this card's amazing. Yeah. And um, I would say if you're going to cut that Belusa, you can cut it for a Penastag. A Penastag? Yeah, yeah. Penastag, I think, is really good. I'm also considering just running two of this. This is also pretty important if they banish it. Mm -hmm. Can't go scrap um, at all. Yeah, I can't. You can't use scrap combo at all if they banish it. So, yeah, that's... Speaking of what to cut for the Appaloosa. Uh, and then, one, the do one of the Dolka. Uh, this just... There's a really broken combo in this deck. Uh, where you go M Misk, and then the whole time you're summoning dinosaurs. And this is the first non-dinosaur that you summon. So you'll be hand-trap-proof the entire time. Because... All your dinosaurs would be protected, and then the first non-dinosaur that you summon is going to be uh, an XYZ that just negates hand traps. So, That's pretty you're good. literally immune. Uh, one Baguska, just in case you brick, you just make this and pass. And also, if you just in case you go against Flu. Oh yeah, going against Flu. I never go in against Flu. There's no more Flu players, man. But, this is just plan B. And then, one Machu Mech. Uh, this is the win condition. If you don't know what this does, I'll explain it to you. Uh, you detach one, target a card, and then you inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack. Uh, the difference between its original attack and current attack. So if you give them a 10,000 attack monster, 
that's original attack is zero, they then you deal ten thousand damage. <laughs> Easy as that. So yeah, that's the win condition. This is the whole FDK. This is the reason why. And then we need a Synchro 5 to go into the rank 5. So we're running the Dark Dimension Soldier. This is actually cool. Uh, this can summon Ovi Raptor from the Banished Sun if you really wanted to. Uh, and then one life stream and power tool. You need it for the combo. Uh, you can BM with this. Like, say you're in time. You can reduce your life points by 4,000. Er, yeah, 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 you can make your life points 4,000 instead of 8,000. And they'll think they win. And then you just burn them for 8. <laughs> 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 and then the one Vish Falcon. Uh, this is the main combo piece. Yeah, it's the one that gives the uh, tokens, right? Yeah, it's the one that gives the tokens. Yeah, that's it for the extra deck. It's... <laughs> It's very unorthodox. This is not like any dinosaur extra deck, but it this still does have the um, like the essentials for a dino deck, like Dolka, Bagaris, Scrap Vibrant, Link Rebo, etc. Kaijus. Here, I run the two more Kaijus. Uh, going second, you really want to draw one, just so that you could just before you even summon over here after you don't have to search it, and then just Kaiju their best monster away. Also, a Rise Heart pass. It just dies to it. Just dies to it, yeah. And then for back row matchups, I'm running these for Runic. And then triple evenly. Also, just for back row matchups. Also helps against like Kashira, anything that summons a big board. Um, two Dark Holes. Yeah. I love this card. Uh, this outs like Ibli, this outs Ra's Disciple, whatever. Uh, it also is a starter. Did you know that? <laughs> I love it. It's a starter. It's just a starter. You set baby in the dark hole. I've done you it so combo. many times. Uh, and then triple cross out. This is for when I'm going first. And then even more Walmart variety hand traps. Yes. So yeah. in total, I'm running six hand traps, which isn't even that bad. Like against a deck that all six hand traps is relevant against like say for example cash tira is my one deck that all six of these is i think gonna do pretty yes. well right all six literally yeah it's not even that bad because like then i have six hand traps to for that matchup and most people run like what anywhere from six to twelve hand traps anyways yeah so it's not even that at the moment Oh, you're running 14? Yeah, that's no, a lot. No. Oh, yeah. Well, you can afford to. But yeah, running, running that many, you'll probably still see one, right? Yeah. So you're probably still fine. Uh, Valor, just for the cross out target. And then Lancia, uh, we hard lose to this card as Dinos, so you gotta run it. But yeah, that's it for the deck. Um, it, it's It's really not that complicated of a deck uh the only complicated part is memorizing all your lines but once you get past that it's super easy to pilot uh half the time you're not even thinking you're just doing your lines <laughs> yeah that's for real what well, do you have any shout outs um shout outs to my channel uh it's over here tristan it's just spelled the two a's and yeah if you go to my channel you'll actually see me doing the combo for the I, FTK. Well, I'll put that in the bio. Yeah, 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 for sure. Thank you so much for having me, by the way. Hey, no problem. Thank you for ha uh, thank you for coming on and giving us your deck profile. Congrats on the twelfth place. <laughs>